Hey guys, this is Ix Rolled X with Lego Zoids Liger Zero. Here's Liger Zero looking very nice, I think. I really like how he turned out. He's quite accurate to what he looked like in the show, but he does have a little bit more of a feline feel than the original Liger Zero does. Just a quick size comparison and kind of accuracy comparison. Here he is, next to the actual Liger Zero. You can see the differences. Of course, the actual Liger Zero toy is a lot more static, but you get the picture. Quite cool looking. Um, he's got some very noticeable details. The red bit on the legs. The gun on the tail. The sharpied in orange eyes. I just uh, sharpied them in and then outlined them in black. His saber tooth teeth. The gun on the bottom, as well as his claws made of minifigure hands. And probably most noticeably of all, the zero symbols on the side. I found those from the stickers of the actual toy. Now, some key differences. You can see thrusters inside these thruster pods. Well... I couldn't fit them inside this, so he doesn't actually have thrusters inside those. They're just for show. But I think it still looks very nice. He's also, like I said, a lot more feline looking. That's because I added a ball joint in his like waist section so he can obtain a lot more agile poses. Speaking of which, posability on this guy. In and out movement and forward and back. Rotation here, forward and back, and side to side movement at the feet. He's got a rotation at the tail, a rotation at the tip of the tail, and the gun moves. Like I said, he's got a ball joint in the waist, which gives him some very nice movement. His head is on a few joints. As you can see, it goes up and down on one joint, as well as on that same joint. It goes side to side. It also goes down a bit further on a second joint. Size comparison here. Here he is with Gundamexia. And he's actually pretty size accurate. I do believe that Exia is 18 meters tall and Liger Zero is 24 meters long. That's good. Now let's move on to features. He's got the stabilizers, of course, on the side. Uh, now these stabilizers are not as streamlined as they are on the toy, if you flip them out here. But it still kind of gets the idea across, I think. And I kind of sacrificed that for the aesthetic of the folded up position. Like I said, the gun can rotate. And the guns down here can go up and down. Now one last feature. I think it's the coolest of them all. The cockpit actually opens. Which I think is kind of incredible for something this small. Now, it doesn't open exactly like it does on the toy. You can see a little guy inside here. But it still opens, and I think that counts. It just looks really cool. Let's just get one more look at that. Nothing much inside, but it's still a very nice feature. So, that is about it. I really like how this turned out. 
It is a very nice representation of Lager Zero with a little added material to it. And for something so small, I think it pulls off a lot. So, this is Zyx Roll at IX with Lego Zoids Liger Zero.